Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and before we get into today's video well I'm just going to remind you the three books that are on sale drink tea and read the paper if you're a green belt and a black belt and you want simple instruction on how to apply your skill design of experiments for 21st century engineers and finally a statistical process control for small batch production. They are all available from lulu.com and the links are in the video below. Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Alec and the subject of today's video is the define phase of demake. So we're going to take a look specifically today just at Define. We'll get straight into this and we just want to say, well, okay, pretty straightforward. It's the first step of your Six Sigma project. What is it that we want you to define? So, number one, I want you to define the problem. So, some basic, some basic tools here, some basic tools that I want you to use. Well, run chart, histogram, run chart, histogram, CPK. One of the things we're looking for here, I want to know whether what I'm trying to get rid of is noise. By the way, this is the project you should be doing. Or whether the problem is about signal. So I'm just trying to put the thing back on target. Which one of these two have I got? So I want you to define the problem. You know, it's great to look at about six months worth of data if you've got it. You want to quantify it. defect rate you want to say how much money is it currently costing me as I say tools you're going to use run chart Instagram CPK yeah uh, pretty pretty straightforward and the other thing about the problem is um, defining the problem you want to have one measure so sometimes people want to say um, Oh, I've got an OEE problem, I've got a defect rate problem, and I've got an on-time delivery problem. I want to fix all of those. No, no, the problem is one. You decide you're trying to improve the OEE. You decide you're trying to improve the defect rate. You decide you're trying to improve the on-time in full. Pick one and keep it clear and simple. One measure of success only in the problem statement. Then, of course, I want you to define the target. And, of course, the target is going to be based on that single measure. So, we want the target. We want it to be um, a good, aggressive target. Yeah, so, set yourself good aggressive target I don't know knocking 90% off the defect rate and knocking 99% off the defect rate set yourself a challenge uh, you want to talk about how much money you're gonna save and maybe you want to say time by I don't know, uh, October October 2018. So nice straightforward target. Good aggressive target. Say how much money, say how much time it's gonna say how much time it's gonna take you. So problem, target, what else? I want you to define the team that you're going to use. And this is most important. What should the team contain? Absolutely critical that it contains doers. 
they hold all the information to solving your problem. So that means operators, it means technicians, it means team leaders. Yes, if you need technical staff, like an engineer, someone from quality, someone from purchasing, all fine and dandy folks, but the doers, the operator and the technicians, you can solve any problem with those guys. I could push the engineers away and I could still solve the technical problem just with operators alone. Think of the power to that. So we want you to define the problem, the target, the team. What else would I want you to define? Well, I want you to define the process. So what's the process that's letting you down? And the way you're going to do this, of course, is with a flow diagram. Whatever this thing looks like. Yeah, etc. So I want you to define the problem. Use some pictures, use some data. I want you to define the target. I want you to define your team. And I want you to define your process. And that is the perfect start to a technical problem solving project. It is the perfect start to a Six Sigma project.